how you guys doing welcome to another week's episode of music production hacks with first culture and today i'm looking into soft tubes monument bass i just got my hands on this and it's really interesting and it's a sampler based synthesizer and they've kind of changed around its parameters to kind of make it easier to make nice bass lines and it's a really fun bass i'm just going to do a walk through and i hope you guys enjoy this all right so let's go all right let's go so first let's upload it monument bass it's a very interesting plugin very very interesting so let's put the kick out and let's just kind of see what's happening and we'll make a patch from scratch and see how the whole uh, sort of interface functions kind of a cool instant patch anyway so let's start with this and so source a source b source mix so let's start with our source a let's see what uh what uh, we let's send it to output right now and let's see what uh oscillator we want to use so we've got a bunch of options over here let's try a sub one and see how this baseline sounds with that sub amusement Uh, let's go with this heater base actually let's go with this dark monster i don't know how it's gonna sound at the end but let's play with this let's see that's my source a and now let's add our source b as you can see i'm also doing source mix but we'll come to that later but still let's hear what our b is replicant okay replicant let's do something else i want noisy second base and let's see For the sake of argument, let's just go with Dot of 1981 and let's mix these two. Definitely an interesting vibe. Let's add some Dot to this. Let's see what, let's add the submarine. I kind of like that so let's send this to filter uh, I want to keep the crossover off on the now kind of let's work on the punch I want to keep the velocity tracking on so that they change the notes change according to the velocities I've programmed in although they're very minor but still you know little bit of glide and sort of an ADSR they have this punch and release which is the attack and attack decay and the release and they've combined this into this so let's see let's see what happens stabby pluck straight up but that's not what we want that'll be great for plucks actually should use that
yeah i want to kind of keep the attack a little softer than that but that's also with the type of uh, it's a sampler sense so it depends on what they've sampled as well and we're just making this as we go along let's see aging i want to make it old man like fuck it i'm an old guy i like old things age is affecting me with nostalgia so let's do this Yeah, the old Sally Gritio has a little more noise and a little more high fidelity when you come to the new stuff. Interesting. Let's go to the filter. I want to keep the key tracking on. Let's see what happens when I keep it off. Nah, the filter has the key tracking on helps the filter maintain consistency along notes. So that's always a good thing, man. You know. because with basses sometimes that really affects it so let's kind of see how we want to have the cut off and the ads up layout in this interesting very very interesting let's try to add some lfo to this let's make it a 12 db curve and see a nice filter very nice filter let's add the lfo to this and see what kind of thing can we get out of this Very nice, very cool. I like it. It's a pretty easy filter. I mean, it's just got like your sync options and the shape of the things to go and like It's pretty easy. Uh, where was it? Not too many options with it, but it's. I think that's the point of this bass, you know, to get like a sound there quickly and something that's cool. I think it's very cool. Let's go to the effects and let's have some fun. Let's add some drive for sure, man. Let's put these off. We'll come to these. So the modern is more like a drive and the I think the transformer is more like a tube. That sounds pretty cool man. Let's add some reverb. Very cool reverb options they have. So let's make it wet and see what all they have. I like the electric kind of splits it. That dirty thing has a vibe, man. I try to mix that in. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that for sure. So this is like the standard soft tube type cuts and boosts and like I like it. There's some bite. This is that compressor. It's pretty much like the OTT, and it does have a bit of. Thank <laughs> you. 
definitely some very cool possibilities with this let's add the specializations so i want to like keep everything on 120 hertz mono and then widen it up so let's try this out Very interesting. Let's see how the beat and see if you're having any fun with this. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Let's play with this and for a little bit play around with the knobs and see if you're getting some tones out of this. And I hope you enjoy this. So let's do the playing. Thank you so much for watching i hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed the video and uh, keep tuning in to music production hacks every week every tuesday and if you're liking the videos please hit the subscribe button and hit give me a thumbs up and a comment would be lovely and that would be awesome all right and new first culture music coming up very soon if you haven't heard first culture there are some links in the description and i can't wait to share the new material with you all right thank you so much and have a good time and see you soon.